had three of us on the spacecraft itself, and it took us early part of the day just kind of align ourselves with what, what asset we were building and where we wanted to go with it, um, and then being able to create the mod file, which was also thankfully helped with a few other team members that helped convert the Rosetta mod file as our template, and we learned from there to create an overall, later in our day, we had an overall a probe that then had sub-objects within it that uh, had some instrumentation within it. Um, and from there, we learned a lot of the spaceship, this, this, the shield earlier, and that shields the delicate instruments from all the sun. And thanks to Carter later in the day, we helped align it and find the right orientation to make sure that the shield is always aligning itself towards the sun, as you see it's lit there. And Carter's well kind of sure, and thanks Jay and all, to have the magnetosphere visible, so you kind of get a really good idea that an elliptical orbit is kind of dips into it and you know, get, get a true visualization of that aspect of it. Um, so, some other challenges are kind of hand up the mic and kind of speak a little bit more about some other challenges we have there. Oh, sure. Let's see. We also we did not successfully get the frustrum and uh, images overlaid on uh, Pluto, but those images uh, exist. You can, you can imagine them being snapshotted onto Pluto right now. Pluto. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> you could imagine them on Pluto, but you would be wrong. Mercury, <laughs> of course. And, to, and actually, to what you're, what, and the reason why he's making that mistake is because we were going to use the New Horizons uh, projections in Frustrum, correct? Correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we took the New Horizons project as a starting point and got really deep into understanding that project and got probably pretty close to implementing the, uh, the actual uh, overlaying of imagery onto Mercury. Um, let's see, what else to say about this? Can we get that? Yeah, let's get a oh, yeah. shot at Messenger. Yeah. Yeah, the, the guy that worked on the model uh, did an excellent job of, of the texturing. Oh, make sure you toggle off the magnetosphere if you're going to come in close to the space. The magnetosphere is actually very dangerous, and if we fly into it, we all risk our lives. You're going to turn it off. So, the magnetosphere is that because it has the iron core like Earth that uh, spins and generates that, and it blocks. Solar rays? I'm not an expert on this. I think that might be something to do with something. Uh, so here's a close-up of, uh, of Messenger. And our, our guys that worked on the model did an excellent job of texturing it out. Um, yeah, it's a beauty. I guess I could add, yeah, why don't you well, I could add a little bit on that and, that, and you know, part of the question what can we do further is we want to explore a little bit more about the shape.